So why do you even want to become a Google Certified Educator? Like, what does that even mean? What do you get? Let's talk about that. Before we dive into the tutorial, I want to shout out the coldest water for helping me to find the most perfect bottle for my needs. And so I really, really love this company because one, they actually care about the people they serve, and two, they care about the environment. And so the engineers that were able to spend years and years working to manufacture the perfect water bottle, they really kept in mind the people they were serving by literally asking them, what do you want in a water bottle? Let me make it for you. But then also they really are active in the community and they do, for example, now they're gonna be doing a beach cleanup this summer to help take care of the different animals and wildlife in the sea. And so that's so spectacular. But um, I thought about myself and I'll drink anywhere from four to six plastic water bottles a day. And I thought, you know, I need to also be conscious of what I'm doing. And so one of the units that we were teaching about and learning about was how to take care of our planet. And so I'm thinking to myself, duh, what a great way to take care of my planet, making a small change such as this, getting the coldest water bottle and reusing it day after day after day because I'm limiting the amount of waste that I'm putting out in the world and I'm making a difference in the long run by making a change to a reusable water bottle. So what I do want to tell you though is that if you also would love to make a difference in the environment, but then also just have a stylish water bottle that you can use every day that allows you to maintain that temperature for 36 hours cold, and you can even put hot drinks in these too. It lasts for hot drinks for 12 hours, so like, what's insane? If you want your very own bottle from the coldest water, I definitely, definitely suggest that you go click the link below in my description and that is going to offer you a 10% discount with my discount code EVES. And with that said, I'm going to get a quick sip and then we'll get right into that tutorial. Mmm. So whenever you are a Google Certified Educator, you become a member of a really exclusive and closely knit community of other Google Certified Educators who then go on to become trainers, innovators, and coaches through that program, which does open a lot of opportunities for you to um, move on and move up in the world of education. But one of the other things too is that you have a deeper understanding of educational technology and ultimately not only is that going to benefit your kids that you teach but it's also going to benefit the staff members at your school and the other adults in your world that use technology because I mean it's not just limited to Google sites and Google classrooms but there's also Google Docs sheets Google forms there's Google meet Hangouts. There are so many different Google platforms that people use, not only in educational sense, but in other businesses in the world out there, all right? And so you are gonna be the resident expert on how to use all of those things. And so it's a great opportunity also for you to help your classroom become a paperless environment if that's something you're interested in. And also it helps automate processes and allows you to give feedback to your students a lot quicker than if you were doing the typical what I used to do, which is bring home stacks and stacks of papers and spend my entire weekend with my grading pen just going through reading leaving feedback comments having hand cramps getting carpal tunnel over the weekend because I've been writing so much that I just look like this so now that you already know a little bit about what it is to become a Google Certified Educator, you'll also have a deeper understanding of how that you can use technology to differentiate your assignments because we all know that out of a class full of kids, 
they're not all going to be the same. They're all going to have different needs and things that are happening in their lives. And so with using Google Apps for Education, we can very easily seamlessly differentiate work for all of our learners no matter what level they're on. So with you becoming a Google Certified Educator, you'll not only be able to differentiate assignments and have a paperless classroom, give feedback effort effortlessly, and grade papers from literally wherever you are in the world, you'll also be able to take that knowledge and understanding and share it with people that are also educators in your building, in your district, in your state, and even people that are outside of education. Everyone uses Google, literally everybody. So it's a helpful skill to have in your back pocket and in your email signature. The website you're gonna visit is edu.google.com slash teacher dash center. I know, that's a lot. So I'm gonna put it in the description box below so you just have to click it and it'll take you straight there. Now, I do wanna draw your attention to the training courses but also the product guide. So if you're not familiar with certain aspects of Google Apps for Education, like Docs or Forms, Google Meet sites, then I definitely suggest that you come check these out because they give you little how-tos from Google themselves on these different aspects of Google Apps for Education. Next, it's gonna go over the, give you an overview of the certifications and it's gonna tell you exactly what you need before you're able to certify. So we're focusing on educator level one. And so here it tells you some quick facts, valid for three years. You do have to recertify. Please make sure you keep up with this. I did not keep up with it. And so then I ended up having to go and retake the test all over again so that I could get recertified. It does take 180 minutes. That's the average time. Um, but for me, it didn't take that long. It took me maybe a little close to an hour, maybe a little less. And so, um, but I do suggest that you are seriously ready before you take the test because you don't want your test to time out and then you end up not passing because the test timed out. If something does happen and you gave it your best shot, but you did not pass a test, no worries, you will be able to retake that exam after a certain amount of time and then you'll pay the $10 again for a new registration fee. All right, so down here, if we continue scrolling, it gives you quick steps that you'll need to follow in order to make sure that you are actually ready for the exam. And so, but we're not there yet. What we're gonna do is, um, this is kind of like the end result. We're gonna focus on the beginning. How do you even get ready to take the exam? And that's where the training courses are gonna come into play. Now we're gonna go into the training courses. And so this is where you are going to get all of your lessons. Now, I know some of you are like, well, I'm not a new learner. I already have experience with Google Drive because we use it at my school. I already have experience with Google Slides because I teach from Google Slides. Cool, you have experience, that's great, but that's not enough to go on to the advanced learner section because if you look at the details, you have to take the educator level one certification exam and pass that before you can move on to the educator level two certification. So what you're gonna be focusing on here in level one, everybody's gonna start with level one, um, so what you're going to be focusing on is Google Sites, Google Slides, Gmail, Google Sheets, Forms, Google um, Hangouts might even be on there now that they've activated that. There are several different aspects of Google that you are going to be focusing on and practicing, okay? And so I know me, I'm really good at Google, all the Google things. So now we're gonna jump into the training courses. And so here is where you are gonna come when you are ready to start taking your Google certification training lessons, okay? So with this, it says for new learners. I know when I first logged in, I was like, I'm not a new learner, I'm an advanced learner because I already know about Google Drive, I can use Google Slides like nobody's business, oh, I'm so good at all the other things too. 
But if you look at the fine details, you'll see that educator level one is classified as a new learner and educator level two is classified as an advanced learner. And so we have to walk before we run. And so everybody starts off with level one. This is going to cover Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drive, Gmail, Google Sites. It, it covers pretty much anything and everything that you could possibly use in any remote sense for education. So you will click Start Training. And then after here, you're, this is, they call it their fundamentals, but I'm going to give you a quick preview. So unit one, technology in the classroom, because remember, this is for Google Certified Educator. This, the goal, the overall purpose is for you to be able to use Google Apps for Education in your classroom, okay? And so moving on, expand your access to help and learning. Let's see, paperless classroom with this one, it's going to hit a, a lot on Google Drive and Google Forms. This one, um, next, save time communicating. You can just start to see how beneficial these topics are. And so organizing, meeting, student work, sharing growth, it goes on and on. And remember, there were 13 interactive units that you are going to work on. And this is what's going to help you become a Google Certified Educator. And so one of the things that I really appreciate is that there are always reviews. And so we'll go ahead and jump into lesson one because I want you to be able to see what you're going to be doing, okay? And so with this, I'm going to go to the next activity. And you see here it tells you expected lesson time, 23 minutes. Okay, and so that kind of lets you estimate, do I have time to take this lesson now or do I need to wait until after my event is over and then I'll have more time? And so it's a lot of reading, yes, but it also has space for you to write down your ideas and your big takeaways, all right? And then this part also that I want to talk to you about, it shows you what other teachers have said. Like these are from actual teachers that have that have experience that use Google Classroom all the time. And it even gives you videos and about how Google Apps for Education have enhanced the overall teaching experience of children in the classroom, all right? And you know, you can watch the video or if you don't have time to watch it and you'd rather just read it quickly, you'll just click the transcript. And here you choose what language you want to read it in. And they got a bunch of languages here. And then you'll just kind of read through it. This is what David said. Kern, Kern, Maya. You see, it kind of goes through everything that gets said in the video. All right. So moving back, you are going to set your goals. And it's going to actually open up a Google Doc for you so that you can make a copy of this document. And remember, as you are practicing, you are using Google Drive, you're using the tools that they're gonna be testing you on because remember, this is performance-based. It's not like, well, we want you to just read this stuff and then good luck in life. No, they want you to actually go through, use it so that that way you can teach it to others. And here, I think it's excellent. I love goal setting and reflecting. And so here is an actual goal setting sheet from Google, like literal Google, like the people that are working for Google created, created and over the Department of Education for Google Apps for Education, like this is from them. I probably want to cut that later, whatever. So this is the goal setting template. And so I, for one, love doing goal setting and reflection. And so this is really helpful for me because I was able to really type into this and use it to help me be successful. And not only that, but it's beautiful because Google is literally, they are teaching you how to use their products. It's not just like a typical test where you, you read and then you regurgitate some information and then boom, you're all done. 
No, this is different. It's performance based. They want to know that you actually know how to use a Google Doc and how to use that to benefit your students, to benefit yourself in your own workflow. So I love that they're doing this. So as we move on, here are some more sample examples. All right. Now, the last part that I like about um, the way that the Google courses are set up, they give you a little check. At the end, they always give you a lesson check, and then you get to see if your answer is right or wrong. Same thing, number two, and then number three, and number four. And you need to pass this little quiz before you can move on to the next activity. Or if you just don't care if you get it right or wrong, then just skip ahead anyway. But if you really wanna prove that you have mastered a topic, why would you just skip through it and take it for nothing, you know? All right, so after you finish, you pass your little quiz, you're gonna click the, either this um, circle or just click the link here. It's gonna take you on to the next lesson, okay? And so, um, I'm going to go back home or another thing I can do is go right over here to this is kind of like the table of contents if that makes sense table of contents all right and so that way I can come here and take whatever lesson it is that I feel like I need to take and honestly some people whenever they're taking these lessons they do skip through them they say oh I know about this I already know about Google Docs oh skip I already know about Google Forms but I don't recommend skipping through I thought I knew everything there was to know about Google Classroom and then I took the lesson and I realized, whoa, there's some little hidden things that I didn't even know existed. Same thing for Google Forms. There are some new stuff and I'm like, where did when did they come out with this? So even if you are um, a self-proclaimed Google expert, I would still suggest that you go through and you take the actual courses and learn all that you can from them. <laughs> When you talk a lot, you drink a lot. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. You've made it all the way to the end. Don't forget about that discount code, EVES, down here for you. And then also, don't forget to like this video, share it with someone who you think will benefit, and don't forget to subscribe. Hello. I will see you next week with the next video. Have an amazing day. Make great choices and do things that make you happy as long as they don't interfere with someone else's happiness.